What do you want, boy? This here the Gray Plantation? Yep. Sheriff's orders. You wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. I'm recently deputized, you see. Deputized? And I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it? Look, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. see you at the sheriff's office excuse me friend we friends not yet but he is hoping I guess we don't get a lot of traveling men here and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place is there what are you doing here I was just looking for work well looking for something don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains mind but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Oh, look out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than ours are. So long, and good luck.
This one ain't supposed to be here. You think that fence is up for fun? Get off this property now. Hey, hey, I'm just a tourist. Off you go. You come back again, we'll think you're a gray. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And... a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages, or... I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit, but here. If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure.
Okay then, girl. Yeah. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, <sighs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. 
My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mr. You gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Mount up, all right. And follow me to Rhodes. Come on! Come on! Yeah! We'll go around the property and take the road to town! Easy, boy. Calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There, there they are. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed! I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please! Do what? Fight this mob? They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep. And the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food now, and now. we fetch the water. Take us down we Main Street, right through glory. town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it, but I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Easy there. Oh, don't give it a rest, you sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the mail of the species. Uh, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant. Almost there. Take us just a little further, please. Those are the steps, Mr. Morgan. Stop in front there, and then all you need to do is listen. Ladies, get down. Come on, come on. I'm a to serve Go home. Shut your mouth. What are you doing? 
singing and causing all this trouble. You don't even know what you're singing. Oh, 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 for all of us. Oh. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals! Oh. Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Fair, equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Oh. Yeah. Founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers, you hey, silly you old goat. <laughs> His philosophy hey. dependent on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always was. Bo, why don't we just leave him? Well, who the hell is this? Speak harsh about my Follow me, Ronnie. Oh, or what? You'll hit me? <gasps> oh, come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We are all Americans. All of us. And we gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. Progress. Look at the beautiful land we have built. But you don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but I'm kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful! Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... Artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here. Your payment. Thank you. I excuse me. Let's go, girl. Yep.
Don't take long, girl. Pay no you okay? attention. You there? Yeah. Would you watch my cargo here while I go find someone to deal with this? I guess. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Boss gonna be so around <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> Pay good money for what? I think maybe you should be sleeping this off. Hey there, mister. Hunting's more of a hobby for you, huh? Easy now. So you told Jose about the moonshine? Yes, he's got some plan cooking. Good. Here's that, uh, hair pomade you wanted. Well, look at that. Thanks, Morgan. I, I owe you one. I reckon we should both just forget this ever happened. This is fine country. Rich country. It's good to be warm. Okay, let's take a look. Sure. How so? All they'll let us do is teach children, clean houses, and line our backs for money. 
Much in the way of living. Even fancy women look sad. Fine, but They'll make sure you get a good price for it. Punish us if you try to stand up. Good job, to Mr. Morgan. Guess I never saw it quite that way. I think I'd like to vote. Who you gonna vote for? Hey, I didn't tell Dutch about the little diversion on our supply run. Why not? I'll fight any time and any place. Yeah, and that's the problem. All right, well, I should be getting on. If you say so. There he is. Hey. Don't get too comfortable now. I won't. Well, rest while you can. We got work to do soon. All right. Bill. Good morning, Arthur. Here we go, come on.
That's it. Come on. You're not bad at all. You're a fine bass. What are you? A uh, small mouth. Afraid you're staying with me. So what now, Dutch? Now, free, little son. We're not home free, but... You think they're off our backs? Now, long enough for us to figure out what we're doing. They're gonna let a bunch of criminals go after what we've done. We are not criminals. We are outlaws. There's a difference? Of course there is a goddamn difference, and when you figure out what that is, you'll know what the hell we're doing. It feels like we're running, running, killing, and running some more. Listen. Oh, look, Sep. Of course, but now, this is when we have to be our strongest. We're gonna make it. We are gonna be okay, but please, Javier, I need you strong. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yes or no. Strong or weak. Which is it? Strong. Strong. Okay. Oh, I got you. I got you. Good to meet you. Yeah, you can stay. This could work. Anything biting, I wonder. That's it, I think, yes. Come here.
You, sir, are a fish. trouble, but I got Mike out of jail. Oh, thank you, Arthur. So where is he? Still out around that way, looking for a peace offering, he said. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right, Arthur. Don't go too close to the water here, Jack. I won't, Uncle Arthur. Good boy. So, what do you think of this place? Not bad. Nice to be by the water. Yeah, it'll do for now.
Arthur. You going fishing? Yes. Or running off to Como Driscoll? Of course not. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> yes, yeah, very funny. I saved your life, and now you torture me. Ho, ho. Shut up. Do you want to go fishing with me? I, I found an interesting spot. We'll do well. I'm not a great fisherman. But I am. <laughs> I'll teach you something. We come? Sure. All right, then. Grab your horse and let's go. Okay, my girl. Okay, follow me. I know a great little fishing spot along the beach. There she is. Who'd have thought it? Wasn't that long ago I was tied to the back of your horse while begging for mercy. Now we're off fishing together. Uh, how do you know I ain't just looking for a good place to drown you? Because, because I saved your life, Arthur. Uh, you keep saying that. But I save your life every day I don't kill you. So we are more than even on that front. Come on, you don't mean that. You better believe I mean it. Now, where's this spot? Uh, not much further. This is the place. Some beautiful smallmouth here. Bass? Sure. This strip of shore looks perfect. Pick a spot. Seeing lots of bluegill and bass over here. Bait with worms or crickets if you got them. Otherwise, maybe some bread or cheese. Please. You getting many bites there, O'Driscoll? I ain't an O'Driscoll. I told you fellas a hundred times. I'd only been with them a couple of months. I was just a runner, helping out with the horses mainly. Bottom rung of the ladder. And to think that was the high point of your career. Comb goes through men like cigars. They ain't like you folks. You barely knew my name. I'm more Kieran Vanderlyn than Kieran O'Driscoll at this point. Honest to God. Mostly I'm... I'm Kieran Duffy. I hate to break it to you, but I ain't sure Kieran Vanderlyn is gonna stick. Not too fast, you could break the line. Nice, good catch, Arthur. Now, see if you can hook another. So, you think Dutch trusts me now? <laughs> That's a good one. What? Not in the slightest, my friend. I can't win. I promised loyalty, he says, but you wasn't loyal to Combe. If I say I ain't got no allegiance to nobody, he says, how do I know you won't turn on us then? I don't know what you want to hear. I'm trying hard to feel sorry for you, but somehow I, I just can't manage to. What in the world? Arthur, are you seeing this? The feather's naked as a jaybird. Is that why you like this spot? My lord, 
There's somebody who needs to hey, go to confession. Hey, watch the line. Whoa, hey, I nearly gulped down a minnow. Sorry, fellas. Didn't see you there. Why don't you take a break? Come on in. The water's wonderful. I reckon we'll leave you to it. Just don't scare all the fish. Oh, just so you fellas know, there's some real big ones over that way, like this. Well, I better keep the blood pumping. Hope you gents catch something. Yeah? Maybe we'll take a look. Thanks. I know where that is. Well, come on, well, let's go. Take care. Hey, wait up! I'm ready when you are. <laughs> 